Welcome back to Fabrication 101. We're back in the shop trying to finish up a lot of little odds and ends, bits and pieces, uh, last minute details before uh, United by Bronco, which is here just in a couple weeks. So, uh, as you can see, I've kind of got the rear end uh, in, in place. I went ahead and put the the rotors and brakes on. I did have to make a spacer. Oops, let's see if you guys can see that. That spacer right there between uh, to get enough clearance between the uh, the caliper bracket and the rotor. Uh, but all that's taken care of. Um, got the brake lines in. Not my best brake line work. Uh, I can't find my brake line tubing bender. I know I have one. I don't know where it is. Uh, I spent about 20 minutes looking for it and just decided to go ahead and bend them by hand. Uh, so I can keep things moving forward. So uh, next thing we got to do is uh, put together the lines that run up the links. Uh, and I'm going to make a little know, bracket or something to uh, tie the link, tie the mount, the tubing to the link. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of those, one for each end. Uh, and then we'll be able to run the airline tubing down that for the air locker. Um, then we'll, we'll move on from there. I, th I know there's more to do, um, so we got quite a bit to, to wrap up in this video.
All right, got these two little brackets done. The only thing is I screwed up uh, and I made a mirrored set when I really wanted to have a set that was gonna be like this. But now this hole here, uh, which is what my airline's gonna run through is offset. So I'll just have to have them back to back like that. I guess it won't make that big of a deal. Uh, should, should work pretty good to hold the, the brake lines and the airline on the link. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get those installed in the Bronco. Uh, get our brake line run, get our airline run, uh, and then move on from there. All right, uh, we got the uh, brake lines run, airline for the lockers run, uh, and those little brackets worked out pretty good. Uh, like I said, even though they're 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 mirrors and not uh, duplicates like I'd like them to be. Uh, the next thing is I need to test my air system, but my air tank no longer fits in here because of the size of that differential cover. Uh, I think, hopefully, let's see, crossing my fingers. Uh, if I cut off about an inch off of the back of the bumper here, uh, I should be able to put the air tank back in uh, and get everything plumbed back up. So uh, we're going to use the torch here uh, and see if we can cut off about an inch off of that piece. Uh, and then hopefully uh, we can put the air tank back in. We'll see. Caution our fingers. All right, uh, I'm happy to say the air tank is in. Uh, I, I'll be honest, I'm a little lazy on this one. I'm in a, kind of in a rush, I got a lot of other things to do and I just kind of, not proud, uh, but not too proud to use self-tapping screws. Uh, anyway, air tank's in. Um, it's actually pressurized, I ran it. Um, and I went ahead and wired up the rear air locker um, it's all plumbed, uh, it, it works, I activated it, no leaks, which is a huge bonus. Uh, I'm really happy about that. Uh, front is back to working again, not leaking up there. Um, now, the next thing I need to do, uh, before I can try and put the floors back in, um, is I gotta do something with the exhaust, because I cut it off way up underneath. Uh, I think I'm gonna be able to use part of the original exhaust uh, and maybe turn it a little bit. Uh, and have it back up underneath there and hopefully everything clears. Uh, if that happens, if that works the way I hope, uh, the last thing to do will be to put the, the floors back in. I'm gonna have to cut them around the, the new shocks 
Uh, I'm not going to do anything with this set here that's got the original in there. Uh, eventually these will get cut out um, and then I'll make some new pieces to go in these. But for now I'm just going to put them back in the way they are uh, and it'll be good enough for our trip to Sand Hollow. So uh, let's see what we can do with that exhaust. All right, well, hopefully my audio works here. My microphone batteries just died and I wanted to get this done. So the back end is pretty much put back together. There's a good chance, um, whoop, just tripped over my floor jack, uh, that I did not trim these out enough, uh, but I think they're good enough for now. Um, they're obviously not gonna self clearance, but uh, hopefully during our trip to Sand Hollow coming up here, uh, we'll be able to figure out uh, how much needs to be trimmed or what else I need to do to get that squared away. So other than that, I got a few more little odds and ends to pick up uh, and deal with. Uh, unfortunately, both uh, front and rear diffs are leaking a little bit. So uh, I do need to pull those and reseal them. Um, and then there's a few other little odds and ends. Got to put the tailgate back on, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode of Fabrication 101. Hopefully, Next time you see us, we'll be in Sand Hollow State Park uh, for the United by Bronco 2024 event. I'm looking forward to it. I'm pretty excited. Um, it's always a good time uh, anytime I get to take this thing out and play. So we will see you guys next time on the next episode of Fabrication 101. In the meantime, do yourself a favor, do me a favor, and go build something.